Hi everyone, this is Alair Games, and today I'm watching episode 3 of Assassin's Pride. Uh, last episode we had a little bit of a tournament, and uh, judging by the... I think that's the title of the, of the episode. Um, I'm thinking that maybe we're going to see some actual lessons taking place between the teacher and the student. Whose names I haven't completely remembered yet. I'm pretty sure the main character is a vampire or something in there. I forgot what the girl was called. Uh, I am looking forward to seeing more characters being introduced and seeing them interact in a non-hostile way, of course. Like, you know, positive interactions that are fun to see. So, uh, with that said, let's just get started with this episode. Maybe it wasn't the title. Oh, this is the title. Going Beyond the Limit. I'm sorry, he doesn't know. All he knows is murder. Yeah, tell her your favorite uh, murdering techniques. I love pouts. Pouts are good. I notice there's not much uh, space in the uh, upper area there. Very good. Well, there's going to be some uh, assassinating going on. He's quite the talker, isn't he? He always knows the right things to say. Those uh, those outfits on that body type reminds me of uh, what outfits look like on my version of Skyrim that I modded. <laughs> You could have voiced your opinion there. Well, that's already a problem. Yeah, that lady was kind of out of line. If that was what she was supposed to wear, she was supposed to wear it.
No. Of course something starts happening now. Is it the uh, mummy? No, you look like Emotep. So they did get kidnapped. Oh my god, she's going to turn into a mummy as well. So that bandage is literally sealing her, huh? Kind of feel at one point they're going to go like, Oh, the seal! It's being unbroken! Or... Broken. <laughs> Unbroken. I'm sorry, I'm not as... Yeah, I don't think she's going to want that. Well... Oh, all right. They're going to use the leg. Oh, wow. She had that time and angled perfectly. I find that that a little far fetched to be honest. Is it because of what it's made of? Yeah. I really do wish I could have seen some of these lessons. Would have really served to, you know, see their bond grow as well. <laughs> oh, 
Good thing they have such big mouths. And eyeballs. Or eye holes, anyway. Her face looks kind of crazy right now. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work out. Ooh. Ah, she got slapped. Well, he felt something. Good thing he's so slow to execute his plans. Oh, both of them. Good teamwork. Also, she's very magical girl-like, isn't she? That sounded very gross. Just a splat. So basically, monsters are just called lycanthropes, no matter what they look like. Oh, that's the secret. <laughs> Our secret is to make it really strong. There always has to be a move like that, doesn't there? Really, that monster thing has been waiting patiently.
Oh! Well, uh, we do have to remember that he does have healing abilities, as shown by what he did to that cat early on. Is he going to pull a piccolo? That's quite the, um, the, uh, hope, no, not hope, belief. Trust? Shoot, there's a word I'm missing. Faith. There we go. I think. Oh, one of those, huh? I assume it was like some sort of... Well, it kind of seemed like a... Like an airwave. I gotta say, though, black and blue looks really awesome. Oh, he went Super Saiyan! Except the white version. Ah, uh, I thought he was going to grow another one, but oh well. <laughs> Vampire teeth, yeah. Calling a vampire a lycanthrope is kind of <laughs> kind of funny. You really should. He's gonna come back to bite you in the in the butt. All right, well, I guess he's using him as a messenger. Hello there. That's an interesting uh, <laughs> way of speaking. I am very interested in this new character. That's pretty cool.
It's only episode three. I mean, come on, relax. So it's going to transform into a show about making, about, you know, a guy making a girl the ultimate warrior that he thinks she could be. For what reasons he wants to that, I'm not really sure yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. It's, I think it's pretty strongly related to the fact that he's a vampire. Also, his name is even less subtle now. <laughs> All right, um, my microphone, well, not my microphone, but uh, my Xbox controller that I used for push to talk during this decided to turn off. So the audio is going to be from my, uh, my backup microphone. So it's going to, it's probably going to sound pretty bad. Um, but as I was saying, it's going to be all about making her stronger, I guess. So. Maybe most of the obstacles are going to be, you know, from her perspective. And he's just going to be like support. Uh, but yeah, I actually enjoyed this episode quite a bit. I really like that, that teacher character. I, I do want to see a lot more of her. Uh, I do feel like we're lacking in a lot of character development. And not as in the characters aren't developing, um, but more in terms of we don't get to see them develop much. We don't, we're not really seeing many interactions that I feel we should. A lot of character bonding and growth and interaction is just being skipped over. And I always really dislike that because whatever, I, I feel that whenever something happens for the first time it should always be shown like the first time they train the first time they uh talk about something the first time you know like all the things that aren't just mundane everyday things that are being repeated over and over i think are important to show and this hasn't really done that too much it just kind of talks about oh yeah these things happened remember So, like, when she was talking about her her instructor being scarier in, in episode two, we never got to see that, so we don't know what she's talking about. We just imagine it, I guess. But yeah, uh, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.